welcome back to my channel first of all i gotta show you guys some love okay you guys have been supporting me because we've just hit 500 subscribers and i am so happy so grateful that you guys are enjoying the videos because i really do enjoy making them okay but i also found out the other day as well that half you guys are from the u.s so shout out to you guys from the usa period it's liddy but yeah guys we are working out today and let's get into the workout of course starting off with some stretches but let's go let's work so family we have a special guest with us today we have mrs benudi here and it's so funny because when i first started working out i was very much a lone wolf i never enjoyed working out with people but now i absolutely love it like it just gives me a different type of energy a different type of boost but guys we were doing leg press here and can i just say this workout is not to be played with if you really want to grow your quads and your legs this is the workout that you should be doing we were trying to hit hypertrophy so we were really pushing those weights going heavy and we settled for 15 reps or four sets yeah i know what i really like about this workout is that if you actually place your feet in a certain position you can target a specific muscle group so for example if your feet are more of a wide stance you're targeting more inner thigh muscles if your feet are more higher position then you're targeting more glutes and hamstrings so it all depends on the muscle group that you're trying to target so make sure that you do your research and adjust your feet accordingly to the muscle that you want to target and as if that wasn't heavy enough i decided to add an extra 20 kg which makes it 140 kg and i was loving it as you can see from my face like i'm all about pushing yourself if you really want to build muscle you need to push yourself so this is your reminder to add those weights on and lift those weights girl <laughs> Girl, I told you not to put too much extra. <laughs> she is done. That was so good though. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Next exercise was the cast glute bridge and i must say there is something about this exercise it took me by surprise i did not expect to feel it as much as i did but i think it's because of how small your range of motion is when you're, when you're doing this exercise you can really take your time and we really focus on that mind to muscle connection but ladies if this is something that you want if you really want to feel the tension in your glutes then i would highly recommend this you are aiming for 15 to 20 reps of each set but repeat it four times and i promise you your glutes will be on fire this is why i love working out with people because sometimes when you're lifting by yourself some ways can look very daunting and very scary but until you see somebody that does lift a bit heavier you start to think you know what if this person can lift this weight then maybe i can try and attempt to lift this weight and as you can see she was able to lift the same weight that might have been daunting if she was alone and she was able to do it comfortably for three reps so i would definitely recommend going with a friend if you are a bit shy to start working out go with a friend encourage each other speak life into each other because the next time she comes to the gym she's going to be like hold on i was able to lift this weight comfortably before let me give it another go and that is how you build strength that's how you keep on making progress by pushing yourself and being around people that can push you too Our next exercise was good mornings. Now, let me just say good mornings are one of those exercises that I don't really do 
but they are great for the glutes and the hamstrings if you really want to feel it in your glutes make sure that the bar is just underneath your traps and make sure you are hip hinging this is a hip hinge movement meaning that you are hinging your hip all the way back until you can feel the stretch in your hamstrings let me be honest it's not my top five exercises but it is a great exercise to put at the end of a workout as an accessory movement you also want to make sure that your back is remaining straight during the entire time i wouldn't suggest bending your knees too much you want to just maybe have a slight bend in the knee but the focus needs to be on that hip hinge as you can see hinge that hip back meaning push that hip back to really feel it in your hamstrings or your glutes Our next exercise was a single leg hip thrust. This workout is not to be played with. It is not a joke, okay? What I really like about this workout is you can really spend time in isolating each glute individually and working each glute muscle individually. And it's similar to doing a hip thrust, but instead of putting two feet on the ground, you're putting one feet on the ground and raising the other feet until you can feel the stretch. Honestly, guys, this workout is so deadly. I am still sore, okay? But it's such a great, great workout. I think a very underrated exercise, but if you really want to... For example, if you've got imbalance in your glutes, so if one glute is bigger than the other, this is a great one to do. And our last lower body exercise was the glute kickbacks, cable kickbacks, one of my favorite exercises for the glutes because it really works to isolate all three gluteal muscles, especially the small part of the glutes right at the top, which is the gluteus medius. And honestly guys, it's just a great, great workout overall you really want to make sure that your back is neutral when i say neutral i mean straight you're not arching your back you're not bending your back you're just keeping it very straight and you can have a slight bend in the knee but you really want to keep this movement really controlled to really get the most out of this exercise I also wanted to give you guys a different angle so you guys can really see the movement in motion but as you can see the back is still neutral I'm still kicking my feet back until I feel the stretch and the tension in my glutes as soon as you feel that tension in your glutes that's where you need to stop but it's such a great movement you guys should definitely add this to your glute days if you're not adding it already just because summer's here it doesn't mean that we have to neglect abs or it doesn't mean that it's too late to get some abs it's definitely still possible all you have to do is just add a quick ab circuit at the end of your leg day workout and that's exactly what we're doing for each exercise we just kept it really simple did it for 25 seconds for each exercise and i promise you guys if you do just that that is enough that is enough if you do that consistently three times a week or twice a week you will see some type of def definition in your abs yes obviously you can you know go more intense with your ab workout but i'm saying at the end of your workout the end of your leg day workout if you want to just do a bit of abs you can just do a quick circuit and i loved that we were still able to push through even though we were so tired as you can see we said you know what it's better to do something than to do nothing at all, all right. <laughs> Thank you.
This ab circuit absolutely finished me. I was so tired and drained at the end of it, as you can see. But this is why working out with someone is such a benefit because when you're tired and when you want to give up, that person saying no. We still have some more left in the tank. We can still keep going. We are near the end. And that's the benefit of working out with someone. So I highly recommend it. And we actually finished off with a one minute plank. When I tell you, I hate planks. To be fair, I hate any ab workout. But we are still going to do them, okay? Because we want some defined abs. We want some a nice, flat, toned stomach. It's just a look, okay? But yeah, is it just me that hates doing abs? Is it just me? It can't be just me, honestly. We do whatever we want, go whatever we want, love whatever we want, it don't matter. We do whatever I want, give whatever I want, give whatever I need, it's about. And that was the end of our workout. I thoroughly enjoyed this workout. I feel like we gave it our all, we gave each exercise everything that we had. And this just goes to show that you don't need to do a lengthy amount of exercise or do anything too complicated to have a good workout. You just need to give it your all. Just give it everything you have, whatever you have on that day, how much energy you have on that day. Make sure you're leaving everything in the gym. And I know that's you know a bit difficult, doing that every single time but there's just such a 
empowering feeling to know that I gave this workout everything I had and I'm so proud of myself and that's really all you can ask of from yourself so I want to just thank you guys for watching I thank you guys for supporting me we are 500 subscribers and I'm so here for it I'm here for the family growing and yeah I can't wait to see you guys in my next video make sure you are liking subscribing sharing the video leaving a comment down below when i see you guys commenting it really does make my day so make sure you guys are commenting what your favorite workout was what workouts you tried if what workouts you love which ones you hate leave a comment down below okay and i will see you guys in my next video bye